Okay, this little guy is as hot as the sun, and they are the stars in our lab. Um, they dwell happily in our two collectors and our new triple quad. Uh, we can measure with them strontium, boron, lead, uranium, magnesium, and lithium isotopes. We can do trace elements and elemental ratios, and we can characterize environmental processes. And also, uh, we can use them for provenance and forensic studies. We can also do geochronology, we can do daisy uh, ablation, zircons, and uranium thorium for lead, for carbonate, sorry. And then, um, so we operate as a recharge center. We reach hundreds of uh, PIs and students uh, from many institutions. Uh, just 25 academic units at the U. Uh, we run five to 10,000 samples a year, and I'm really proud to say, proud to say that um, about two-thirds of those are run by the underground uh, that have put 20,000 hours of work in the last 10 years. Um, uh, examples, uh, some examples. So two, um, two guys uh, with an impressive boat in too many fishing competitions in Utah. Uh, they show uh, the largest bass in Lake Powell. Um, uh, a detective, uh, Utah wildlife investigator, uh, confiscate the fish because somebody says, hey, those look like Quay Creek uh, bass. Uh, so obviously fishermen know their fish very well. So we measure the autolith. Uh, this is a caught fish, the confiscated fish. And of course, we have 20 standard deviations to convince, to convince the judge that those are not from the cloud. <laughs> so if, you, if you want to characterize your whole basin, you need a lot more autolith. We, they were already just, the other one were just 10. Uh, since we knew that this uh, new Chagat basin contains seven distinct isotopic zones, we could measure all this autolith to, to, to say which of those were more productive year to year. Uh, um, for two species, uh, we could illustrate this shift in habitat as a ecological concept that is related to uh, long-term stability of productivity. Uh, last one, so uh, contamination history in our valley. This is a, a, a sediment core from Farmington Bay uh, after um, railroad, transportation, and commercial mining. The, the enrichment factor went to factor of 20 up, uh, peaking in 1919. Uh, and then um, uh, the, the, this is the concentration, these are the isotopes. We tell us about sources, so the most the radiogenic lead, pre industrial lead, got uh, moved into uh, Galenas from Park City, uh, in Cambridge.